Here at Zoombox USA, we've been working really hard to make your Zoombox a very easy to use experience for you. One of the things we're going to talk about today is using your smartphone for actually browsing the, uh, the box. We're going to uh, take the smartphone right here and we're going to uh, talk really quick. I'm going to pull up Google and uh, from our smartphone we'll want to do a search for XBM. C remote. And when I do that search for XBMC remote, you notice it shows some remote controls there for sale on Google. Um, you also notice as I scroll down, there's the XBMC remote. This is the official XBMC remote. I found this one very difficult to use, but the core official remote for Cody was very, very user friendly and very easy to get this device to connect for our phone. Um, so I'm going to recommend that you download the core application. Of course, this application is only for an Android phone. Now, if you're using an iPhone, I do imagine, as a matter of fact, I know for a fact there is a, another uh, program out there. Again, you would go to the iTunes store with your iPhone and search for XBMC Remote, and it will lead you to the correct application. But again, since we're using an Android device today, I'm going to be using an Android phone download that core program called K-O-R-E and I'm going to pop out of here really quick and we're going to uh, talk about configuring that with inside of XBMC. Once you're inside XBMC you'll need to turn on specific services to make your phone actually function as a remote. Um, to get to services you're going to want to slide over this bar and come to system you notice inside system there are settings. Click on settings and that will give us the option for these services. Next click on services and this is a, a program called Confluence. We're going to use the AirPlay function and we're going to turn that on. You'll need to make sure that both the, uh, the volume and allowing Cody to receive AirPlay content. Both of these switches are switched on. Um, don't worry about the SMB client. Uh, zero configuration, you'll again want to make sure that this is turned on. Announce these services. Um, it's unable to stop it, that's okay. We want it to stay on. Remote control, again, allow programs on the system to control Cody. And by on the system, it means on the same network. Um, you will need to have your phone connected to the Wi-Fi in order to use it as a remote. Allow programs and other systems to control Cody. Again, yes. Make sure both of those are on under remote control. Web server. Oh, under web server, allow control of Cody via HTTP. Make sure this is on. And UPnP. Make sure all four of these are on. Again, all four there. General, we're not worried about. There's no uh, settings here. UPnP, the four. Web server, make sure the top one is on. Remote control, the top two buttons. Zero config, the top. And airplay, the top two, allowing this volume control and airplay content. Now you can put a password, username, and password in here if you so decide to. We're not for the purpose of using our remote today. Now next, you would actually go to, I'm going to uh, leave that up. Go to Cody on your phone. Inside my phone, I've got that core app application right here. I'm going to launch it. My remote immediately hooked up, but you would go to search, and you'll notice there are a whole bunch of different boxes here. And uh, mine is on the bottom. In the event it doesn't find it, you would add a new box by clicking in the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner. Click on Next. It's searching for media centers on my local network. There it found the uh, Cody at localhost 192.168.1.133, um, port 8080. I'm going to click on that and click on Finish. Now my remote is installed in, and you'll notice that I can correctly scroll up and down on these functions. I can hit the back button here. I can come over to uh, Oh, I don't know, over to videos and come down. 
I can drop into Genesis, One Channel, Project Free TV, Stream All the Sources, Phoenix. I can come into Phoenix and we're going to talk about, whoop. I'm going to actually come down here to where it says search and I'm going to enter that search. One of the great things about having your phone as a remote control, is once the screen is up you can toggle by hitting the upper right hand corner here it says send text to media center. Well, this is an Android phone with voice activation and a speaker on it, just like I'm talking to text. I'm going to hit my speaker button. Pirates. And I'm going to hit send. Now it didn't find anything because I actually had a... Uh, a comma in there. I hit the comma on my keypad first. I'm going to hit again, send text to media. I'm going to hit my microphone. Pirates. Actually, just got pirate in there. You see, my box is now working. And there's uh, Pirates versus the Brewers at 810. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, the Pirates Band of Misfits, the Pirate Ferry, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, again, with my remote, I can scroll up and down that list without having to use the mouse or any other indicator. I can enter one of these, click on enter. It asks me a resolution. And just like that, my movie is now working and loading sending the whole box to the zoom box, the whole movie. Now the great functionality of this remote again, if I slide my screen right or left, there are other functionalities here. I can slide that to the right and there's some functionality for volume control. Turn the volume up, down. I can mute my volume. I can uh, pause my movie. I can play my movie. Or I can even take this slider here and slide it to the middle. And instantly I'm in the middle of my movie. I'll turn the sound back on. Turn it up a little. So again, this is great functionality. You also notice that the Pirates of the Caribbean is being displayed across the top of that phone. I hope you can see it. But using your phone to remote uh, in Kodi is a great way to go. I'm going to uh, pause that. And again, I'm going to come back. And let's say I wanted to watch the next movie. Not Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, but uh, the Pirate Ferry. Simply click play. Uh, it asks me a resolution, 1080p works for me. Enter. Now I've got the Pirate Ferry loading up. Again, with the remote, I can slide anywhere in that movie. So using your uh, phone as a smart remote is a very, very useful tool. We want to make sure that anybody out there with a smartphone takes full capability of using this and, and enjoying the viewing content on your on your uh, zoom box. Again, I want to thank you for taking time to watch this video, and we're going to continue to bring you updates as more updates become available. I hope this has been very informative and in telling you how to set up your phone as a smart remote for your zoom box.